What is up everyone? Hope you're doing great. So today I'm going to show you how I mix my melodies. What I mean by that is that I'm going to show you the effects that I add on each individual sound. So before we go through that, I'm going to show you the melody, how it sounds right now. Now obviously we can add more layers to it, but for the sake of the tutorial I'm gonna keep it to those three sounds. So we have this guitar right here, then we have this flute as a counter melody, and we also have this piano sound that I'm gonna add for the background. The first thing I'm gonna do is highlight those three sounds and set them to the mixer. So one thing I'm gonna do to instantly give more power to those melodies is actually go to the sampler and hit normalize. And that is gonna set them to their actual volume and that will really come in handy with this flute for example because if you heard before it sounded really low in volume. What I'm also gonna do is go to this transit right here and I'm gonna click on generic and that way we will not hear any of those clicky sounds where there is a transition between the loops. So now what I'm gonna do is highlight my layers and I'm gonna route them to a mixer track and we can apply the same effect to all three layers but we're gonna do that later. For now I'm gonna go to the stereo separation knob and I'm gonna set it around 60% stereo and that's gonna make our melody sound wider and obviously it won't make much of a difference right now but if you add drums to it it's gonna sound more separated from the drums so now I'm gonna take things one by one I'm gonna start with basic leveling and what I want to achieve is to have my main melody on a regular volume and have my counter melody be more audible So now I'm gonna take each individual track, I'm gonna solo it and I'm gonna add the effects that we need. So the first thing I'm gonna add to this guitar obviously is gonna be EQ. As you will see on the graph it will have a lot of low end that we don't really need, especially when the melody drops down to G. I'm gonna use this high pass filter to take down some of the low end but I'm not gonna get rid of everything because a lot of the body and energy of the melody is in the low end. As you will hear if I take out a lot of the low end it's gonna sound very robotic and we don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is take it easy and just remove just a bit. What I'm gonna do right now is search for unwanted frequencies on the spectrum right here so we clean up the melody just a bit more. Now the guitar sounds crispier and now we can add some more effects. When it comes to guitars I really love adding some chorus and a really unique chorus preset is inside this plugin called Raum. I'm gonna go to the factory presets, go to creative and hit caramel guitar and here's how it sounds. Now obviously I'm gonna take down the mix knob so we balance the original sound with the chorus. Next up I'm gonna use one of my favorite plugins ever, it's called Finisher Micro and pretty much I'm gonna use the default preset which is called Infinity and I'm gonna take down this mix knob right here to control the amount of the effect. Ok 
Okay, now I'm gonna add delay three and specifically I will go to the presets and hit tape and I'm gonna set the time on two and I'm gonna decrease the wet knob. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is switch the position of these two plugins because the position of your plugins really matters when it comes to adding effects and I think it's better to add Finster Micro after the delay 3. And once I'm done with my effects, I'm gonna add another EQ2 on the last insert and I'm gonna take down some more low end because it was probably created from the plugins. Okay, so here's how our guitar sounded before the effects. And here's after. Okay, so now let's go to our flute right here and instantly what we want to do is add EQ2 and I'm actually gonna clean up a bit the mid-range because we have some harsh frequencies. Okay, now we're gonna play with some reverb on the flute, but we're gonna go really smooth with it. I'm gonna keep the default preset and the first thing I'm gonna do is tweak the decay knob to find the nice spot that I want. Now obviously we don't want that much of a reverb, so I'm gonna take down the wet knob. I'm gonna take down the high cut as well and I'm gonna increase the low cut to remove low end created from the reverb. Now honestly I'm really happy with the flute as it sounds, we don't really want to add too many effects because it's gonna stop sounding organic after that but I'm gonna play with a few effects, for example I'm gonna add this chorus and I'm gonna take down the mix knob and I will see if it actually sounds good. And now I'm gonna add another EQ and take down some low end. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to the background sound right here. The preset already has effects to it, so we don't really have to do that much, but we can play around with it. Okay, so first thing, I'm gonna add some Finster Micro. Uh, once again, the default preset, and I'm gonna tweak the knob right here. I actually added a lot this time because we want to fill up those empty spaces of the background. Okay, and now I'm gonna add tons of reverb to set it on the background. I'm gonna do that while playing with the rest of the sound so I know how it sounds in the context of the melody. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is duplicate my melody because we we're gonna do a really nice trick. So I'm gonna go to my melody bus right here and I'm gonna add some half time. Specifically, I will set the mix around 90% and I will set this knob right here to the left because it's gonna make it sound smoother. And since we added it on the melody bus, that means the effect is gonna be applied to all three sounds. And it sounds like this. So I'm gonna use this effect as an intro and what I'm gonna do is create an automation clip and I will slowly remove the effect. So I'm gonna set a knob right here and another one right here and we're gonna slowly transition to the actual melody. So 
So that sounds really fire, but a problem that was created is that when I added half time, it also increased the low end of the melody. So I'm gonna go to the last insert of the melody bus and I'm gonna add an EQ and I'm gonna add a really big low cut because we created a lot of low end. Now obviously we want this effect to last only when the half time is playing so for that reason we're gonna create an automation clip for the EQ as well and we're slowly gonna remove it as well. So now you will see that the EQ effect is gonna go away once the half time gets removed. So yeah, that was the tutorial for today. I hope you found it useful. If you did so, make sure you like the vid and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I will see you on the next one. Peace.